back to Great Day Medical Monday. From fertility to fatigue and brain fog, if you don't know the underlying causes of your symptoms, your hormones could be to blame. Joining us today to help answer your questions, welcome back Dr. Stephen Hotze, founder of the Hotze Health and Wellness Center. Thank you so much, Gary. All right. Uh, this is probably the topic I get stopped on the most, and it is people who come up and say, I heard something about you had a hormone issue and I had a thyroid issue. And so they ask me, here are my symptoms. So I become kind of like your... Um, like your assistant right. out in the field. I'm like, because they ask me these questions like I'm a doctor. I'm like, you really should see a doctor. I just play one on TV. <laughs> but uh, so anyway, we've, we've compiled a number of questions that people have concerning hormones that you might be able to answer here. First up from Lucy. She says, uh, I'm in my 20s and have had trouble getting pregnant. I'm pretty healthy, but I'm tired a lot have uh, hair loss and trouble sleeping. Is there anything I can do before spending a lot of money at a fertility clinic? So oftentimes there are things that we can do that are less invasive or less um, expensive even as fertility if we just know what the lay of the land is. Well, obviously if it's, if she can't get pregnant because of a condition in her body rather than a man being uh, having low sperm count. Because sometimes it's 50-50. Right, it could be. It could be a man's fault. But if, it, if it's a woman's condition, that's commonly due to uh, hormonal imbalance and low thyroid condition. The first thing you ought to check is for a thyroid condition. And the first thing a woman ought to check is her body temperature. Your body temperature should be 98.6. Routinely, if you're low thyroid, it's going to run in the 97s or 96s. And, and remember, the thyroid governs your metabolism. So it, it, it causes the ovaries to function, every cell in your body to function. If you've got low thyroid, that could be a problem. So, yeah. And oftentimes, women will have thyroid issues after pregnancy and so you you see many times that women will say I had one child and could never have any more well, didn't understand what that was that's exactly right because because the ovaries didn't kick back in remember the ovaries are shut off during pregnancy the hormones of pregnancy are made by the baby's placenta and the ovaries turn off they've got to turn back on and if they don't turn back on right then women can have a problem with that they can go into what we call estrogen dominance and that's where they have too much estrogen compared to progesterone during their menstrual cycles. And that can lead to irregular menstrual cycles, heavy bleeding and clotting, fibroids. It can lead to ovarian and cysts, yeah. and it leads to infertility mm. and uh, often recurrent miscarriages. Whenever I hear somebody's having recurrent miscarriages and infertility, I think of low thyroid. I also think of toxins, toxins as well. So we get... When we, when we have toxins in our system from things in the environment we breathe, eat, or drink, or slather on our body, that those are hormone disruptors, and they adversely affect our hormones. So you got to detoxify your body and then replenish your hormones. Okay. Uh, this next email is from Maribel. Maribel says, I have a lot of symptoms that you mention regularly on the show. Tired, can't sleep, muscle pain. My doctor says I have chronic fatigue syndrome, and that I'll have to live with this. Uh, how do you treat this disease? Uh, oftentimes, that's what makes a lot of people frustrated when you finally go to the doctor and someone says, it just is what it is. You're going to have to live with it. Or we try to treat it. Um, treat the symptoms through right. medications as opposed to what is the problem can we rectify the problem well that's a true diagnosis tells you the cause of the problem it's really a description uh, the diagnosis of chronic fatigue syndrome is really a description yeah I'm you know what so what is the definition of chronic fatigue you're chronically fatigued, fatigued. for over six months <laughs> yeah, so, yeah well I told you that the question is why do I have chronic fatigue why do I have these aches and pains fibromyalgia yeah, is one of those things yeah, fibromyalgia that... and fibromyalgia and, and, and chronic fatigue run hand in hand so these are sim fibromyalgia simply means I got muscle pain okay so you go to the doctor the reason you want to know doctor what's causing the underlying problem and it's very commonly a hormonal imbalance mm -hmm. low thyroid condition coupled with imbalance in the hormones the female hormones and in males it's, it's the uh, decline in testosterone that occurs okay uh, Kate says I had a hysterectomy for my heavy bleeding and irregular cycles and was told after surgery I'd no longer have symptoms but I feel horrible uh, my doctor only offered me Primarin and, and antidepressants, but they make me feel even worse. What can I do? And this is what you go back to. You say oftentimes women will go in and they yank out that uterus and say, okay, now you're not going to have the heavy bleeding. Well, of course not because it's not there. Right. But again, all the other symptoms remain because you still did not get rid of the problem. Well, the underlying problem that leads to most hysterectomies is this heavy bleeding, irregular bleeding, and fibroids. What causes that? Hormonal imbalance, estrogen dominance. The estrogen, progesterone levels fall when a woman hits 35 very dramatically compared to estrogen. So she has estrogen dominance, which is a proliferative hormone. So she proliferates the inner lining of the womb, the fibroids grow, 
You know, she gets fibrocystic breast disease, premenstrual syndrome, premenstrual breast tenderness. She's got all these symptoms, mood swings, depression, anxiety, panic attacks. And she goes to the doctor, what's got to be done? He says, well, we'll just take out the uterus and it'll cure everything. Well, it stops the bleeding, but she still has the hormonal imbalance. And when usually they'll take out the ovaries and they'll slap them on horse estrogen, which yeah. is primarin, which is natural for mares in midlife, but it is not made by the human body. So you want to put in natural bioidentical hormones. They didn't do that for her. It's, a shame, she, it's a shame she had a hysterectomy. That can be prevented if you get on your hormone uh, replenishment therapy early when you start having symptoms. Yeah. And the key hormone to prevent that is progesterone. All right. Hannah says, my doctor gave me Paxil for my symptoms, but I really think it is my thyroid. He said my blood test was normal and that there was nothing wrong with me. I was just depressed. I don't feel depressed. How can I get him to listen to me? And more women today than ever before are on antidepressants. And we understand where antidepressants do play a role in life. We do understand that in mental health. But they can't tell you that I, I have this issue or this issue, therefore I understand my depression. It's almost like... I don't know why I'm depressed. I don't have a reason to be. Well, we've talked about this so many it's times not clinical, before. You know? Women have to balance out their hormones every month. As they mature, the hormone levels decline and become imbalanced. The hormones affect brain function and your neurotransmitters. So if your hormones are not balanced properly, at certain times of the month, it can cause women to have mood swings, anxiety attacks, panic attacks, and they go to the doctor, and it also leads to hypo clinical hypothyroidism. Yeah. So they go to the physician, and the physician runs blood tests, and they go, oh, that's all normal. You're just depressed. So they throw them on an antidepressant, and oftentimes it makes them, what, more depressed. Yeah. It leads to suicidal thoughts. Gain they get, well, gain weight, weight lose weight, and they become zombies. Oh, so, that's what happened to me. That's what happened to me, yeah. and it turns out it was very simple, bioidentical thyroid. Right. All right, uh, Dr. Hotsey, thank you very much. Everyone in today's studio audience is going home with a Dr. Hotsey book, this new book, Hyperthyroidism, Health, and Happiness. It explains all the stuff that we're talking about. If you'd like to order a copy, just visit thyroidanswer.com slash gdh, thyroidanswer.com slash gdh. Dr. Hotsey also hosts a radio program, Health and Wellness Solutions. It airs Monday through Thursday from noon to 1 p.m. on 700 a.m. KSEV. You can also listen live online at hotseyhwc.com. Dot com. And for more information on the Hotsey Health and Wellness Center, where you can get everything balanced out, call 888-473-5531, 888-473-5531.